Hello everyone, welcome back to YouTube channel for Web Dev Mentors. Uh, we are in the Learning Bootstrap series. Today we're going to see about the quit systems in Bootstrap. Uh, this video is the third video of Learning Bootstrap series. If you've already missed two, uh, you can go back and see those videos. Again, uh, we haven't done much of a big work, so it is not completely necessary that you have to do that. So uh, you can also follow along in this. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to give you an introduction on the grid system that is used in Bootstrap. Let's go to the CSS section of bootstrap.com, get bootstrap.com, and uh, we're going to see the grid system. Uh, you can see a uh, list of elements on the right side. Uh, we can also see the grid system there. I'm going to it. This gives you an insight. Bootstrap includes a responsive mobile first fluid grid system that appropriately scales up to 12 columns as the device viewport size increases. So as mentioned in the HTML we've used in the last video, I'll get back to it now see here, we have defined a viewport in the meta which has a width that is equal to the device width. So what this does is that we're going to define the width of the screen to be the width of the HTML. So now coming back to bootstrap what it does is that it's going to put the 12 columns of the HTML stretched across the entire size of the viewport. So the viewport size is nothing but the width of the screen. So this is nothing but actually it's going to put the 12 columns of the HTML that we're going to use to the entire size of the screen width. This makes the website responsive as when the viewport size reduces, the size in which these 12 columns can be put also reduces dynamically, of course. Uh, we can test it, actually. Uh, I'll just give you an example sooner or later in the same video, so don't worry about it. Uh, the next thing is the introduction. We have some uh, around uh, eight points in here can read that uh, you would be understanding it very easily when you read it sorry first uh, point is nothing but about the rows uh, the containers that is used in this I'll be giving you examples or explaining you each and everything very easily uh, as the video goes on so the next thing is the media queries we put this in the CSS file of a website and what this media query does is that then a particular width is specified in this so we have this minimum width is screen SM min, which is a screen small size minimum. So what it does is that when the minimum width of this screen is this, the screen small minimum, which is something around 768 pixel in the comment section. What happens is that the set of CSS attributes defined in this area will be applied to the HTML and uh, we have multiple media queries for the medium and then the large so we can actually specify different properties for uh, HTML by giving different CSS properties for different size of the screen so again we have another type of media query which is also having maximum width so this again when the screen size or the width of the screen is having a maximum width of this so this is going to be the maximum width and anything lesser than that will use this CSS set of properties and again the next query includes both minimum and maximum width so which means that uh, any screen width that lies between this minimum value and the maximum value will have this set of properties applied onto the HTML and uh, there is uh, a couple of things that you have to mention in this at least because when the screen size is reduced these properties will be applied on your page and it will be so smooth so you don't have to worry about it uh, and uh, advanced people do this a lot of course bootstrap do, do this uh, you can find them in the codes they have in the CSS and that's why they have mentioned this in here so the next thing is the grid options and uh, this is where we will be getting a very good introduction about the grid system that is used in the bootstrap. So we have four types of devices, the extra small devices which is nothing but the mobile phones which has a screen size, screen width less than 768 pixel. 
and then the next is the small devices which includes the tablets which has screen size of width greater than 768 pixel medium devices or desktops uh, which has a screen width of uh, greater than 992 pixel and larger devices or desktop with bigger screens uh, with the wide screen maybe which high uh, with a high definition uh, video playback uh, so greater than or equal to 1200 pixel is where the large devices comes in so we have a grid behavior the extra small devices have one simple behavior that it will be stacked in the horizontal way all the time doesn't matter if the size is reduced or increased so when it comes to extra small devices this will be horizontal at all times and in small devices medium devices and large devices what happens is that the columns or the grids that is specified will be collapsed something like it will be coming into a vertical manner so when a particular breakpoint is there for example in small devices the breakpoint is uh, something around 768 and medium devices it is 992 and large devices is 1200 so when the breakpoint value is achieved something like the width of the screen is greater than this particular breakpoint value what happens is that this grid system will automatically align itself into horizontal way so it won't be in a vertical manner or stacked in a vertical order it will be stacked in a horizontal order if the width of the screen is greater than the breakpoint and the next is the container width the container is nothing but the area in which this column is going to be uh, all the columns that we are going to specify will be displayed so this container will have something around uh, 750 pixel for small devices 970 pixel for medium devices and 1170 pixel for large devices so for extra small devices there is no specific width so what happens is that the columns will be stretched to the maximum size of the device of this extra small devices so mobile phone uh, the website will be extending to the maximum size of the screen width and there is a class prefix so for extra small that is column access for small devices column SM for medium devices column MD and large devices column LG so as I said and uh, the first line itself in the grid system of bootstrap will be having 12 columns so this is how the responsiveness of the website is maintained in bootstrap uh, as we use those columns we'll be understanding why it is 12 and how it is 12 and what kind of 12 it is and in a column width each column has a width in uh, this uh, bootstrap so as I said in extra small devices there is no specific restrictions in the width so it will be automatic and it will stretch to the maximum size of the width of the screen and in the small devices it's going to be 60 pixel and in medium devices it's going to be 78 pixel and in large devices it's going to be 95 pixel now you might be having a doubt that how come a small device like tablet will have a 60 pixel and medium devices desktops will have a 78 pixel what happens is that most of the times when you get to the small devices uh, your size of the columns will be less or your size uh, sorry the columns will be stacked one after another in a vertical manner so you don't have to be worried about it so this is to make sure some of the values is easy for you to understand so the next thing is the gutter width and nestable offsets column ordering I'll be explaining this to you in a much better way later on because I'll explaining you this uh, gutter width nestable offsets column ordering later on because uh, explaining you all the things at the same time will be putting uh, too much on your brain and making it difficult for you so the next thing is some of the examples that has been given by bootstrap to make it easy for you to understand so we can see the columns are stacked in a horizontal manner in uh, this uh, way so we have extends into so the, this is the column and MD stands for medium devices and one stands for the size of the column that we're going to see so this is having a column of size 1 and we have 12 columns stacked in a horizontal manner so as we've seen 12 is the column the number of columns that a bootstrap can have in any column or any grid or any row or any container so that is the maximum thing that we're gonna have so here we have 8 4 8 plus 4 stands for 12 again 
four 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 that is three columns which again stands for the total number of tall columns and again in here we have six plus six tall columns maximum so we can have three or four even four we can have four something like four plus four plus two plus two so that makes up 12 and we can have even less than that so uh, but again using it efficiently is where what it matters we will be using it so you don't have to worry about it if, if this is the code for the above section of example so you can copy it and paste it in your HTML and uh, play with it do some experiments and uh, try what happens when you do something you just can uh, remove some columns in between and see what happens what happens is that this will stop in here just try it and see it uh, I'm not gonna say it uh, that's going to make things interesting for you uh, I'm not going to put you into a situation that we have we, you have to do some assignments but it will be interesting when you try something and uh, wow uh, it does something and uh, you get happy for it that's what developers do and uh, the next thing is the fluid container fluid container is a difference uh, with the main container containers and fluid containers columns will arrange itself to the maximum size it can accommodate so as it says turn any fixed width grid layout into full width layout by changing your outermost so what happens is that it extends up to the full width of the screen so when we use it we can understand it uh, for example in this uh, we've stacked to the horizontal in this mobile and desktop we can specify a uh, class for mobile and then we can specify a uh, class for desktop so what happens is that till it is at the breakpoint or in the size of the desktop screen with, which is nothing but the 992 pixel as we've seen in the earlier year where the grid options has been given uh, the size when the screen width size is greater than or equal to 992 pixel that is a medium device which is nothing but the desktop so this column MD8 will be applied so when we reduce the size what it does is that it automatically takes this because Access is applied now 12 so it extends up to the entire stretch of the website so the 12 columns of this website is grabbed by this column access 12 so when we go to a point where the breakpoint reaches about the desktop size it will snap back again so automatically it arranges and goes back so let's see and here we are it's going to come now I'm going to have a snap point yep see so this is a snap point uh, right now we are in the size of uh, something around or about 992 pixel so this is snapped back uh, column 8 and M MD column f uh, sorry column MD4 so this is done so when we go less than 992 pixel what it does is that it goes into this column X is 12 so it stretches to the 12 columns of this website and uh, uh, similarly all those things are applied CS6 and uh, we reduce it further we're going to see the same thing it's just going to fill the entire and it's going to fill the half of the screen see 6 so it is going to be exactly half of what we have seen in the above again in the 6 half half x is 6 6 so what it does is that small devices extra small devices it when you bring it totally towards the desktop size just going to be same but what happens is that it just stretches just like how it does in the axis so only we, when we specify a special class for a specific device it would get applied on it so on, if it is not specified we don't have to worry about it the column will be automatically applied in such a way that it can be applied for the first device or any class that you have specified so if it is MD4 it will be totally different uh, we'll be seeing it uh, we'll be covering you with uh, all those things later on and there's a couple of uh, examples where we use three types of classes one for XS one for SM and one for MD so what it does so this is going to be interesting so I am in SM right now so I'm in the small devices right now so we have this SM6 X6 that is MD4 so this is SM6 and we are having MD4 in here so this will be confusing but over a period of time you can understand it uh, don't worry about that so when we go further down we get to see that we're still in the SM so don't worry and here we are 
we have attained uh, the access part this is the mobile device where the 12 is applied directly and the 6 is applied in here so this way you can experiment it just uh, reduce the size of the browser that you're using uh, so that it can damp to yourself so uh, as I said before I'd be looking into the offsetting nesting and the column ordering later on so you don't have to worry about that uh, anyway uh, this is going to be the end of this uh, video copy some of the codes that you can see in this bootstrap uh, documentation put it in your HTML document and uh, do some testing do some uh, uh, research on it what happens when you change around something and uh, what happens when you uh, include something what happens when I include an SM column in here and uh, how it behaves it's always very important that you have to try it out and uh, it helps you a lot so that it can be in your mind so when I go into the later advanced part of the series and when I just say like column MD6 you don't have to think like what is that well, why, why are they using it so you already know it because you, you've already done it so unless you do it or unless you teach someone about it you won't be remembering that so that's the biggest part either you do it very important thing is that if you do a mistake that's very good because you'll be having an extra experience of how to solve it as well so of course uh, there is a lot of websites that you can seek help in of course you can seek help with us ourselves uh, you can use the comment section in the video in order to ask some doubts or if you have any any issues you can ask that and of course you can use our uh, Twitter handle or Facebook page in order to ask some questions we will be always ready to help you and uh, we're always eager to help you that is the part of uh, making you to learn or something and uh, if you are not having any questions that means that uh, we might have done something wrong so thank you for watching this video I hope this is useful for you so as it said I'm going to include something in HTML today but uh, I thought that it would be very important that you have to know the grid system of bootstrap uh, before we start into it so thank you for watching this video uh, please follow the video series of uh, bootstrap to learn bootstrap in a much better way we try to make sure that you learn everything properly and uh, keep it in your mind so that you can use it at any time without any kind of reference if you have uh, any questions queries or issues or any problems that you face in uh, doing something in bootstrap you can ask us in either the comment section of this video or in our Facebook page or Twitter handle thanks for watching this video